And my second tip is to make it difficult, okay? To make sure that learners are working at that point where their skills meet their challenge. It's very rewarding for us um, to do things that are difficult and to succeed in them, okay? It gives us um, you know, a great feeling of, of satisfaction. Um, and that links into um, Mihai Csikszentmihalyi's work on, on flow, which I'm sure a lot of you will be familiar with, um, where he talks about the fact that, that we, we our best experiences in life are, are the ones where we're working, where we working at that moment of complete and utter absorption, uh, where you don't think, where you don't notice time passing, where you're completely involved in what you're doing. So. Um, if you look at what, what happens, if you look at the skills, if the challenge is too low, um, the students are completely bored, and if the challenge is too high, um, they're going to be very anxious. But there's this area in between um, where the student is working at their achievable challenge level that is going to be very satisfying for them. So if we want to engage our learners, um, we need to make sure that they're working um, at that point. Um, and if we look at neuroscience, neuroscience actually treats um, boredom as a stress. So the amygdala in the, in the brain, um, if you're bored, the amygdala, which is kind of like a switch for learning, will switch. Um, and it then makes learning actually very difficult to, to, to happen. It just doesn't work. So the prefrontal cortex, um, which is where a lot of cognition takes, takes place, um, actually doesn't function properly when the amygdala is, is switched. So if your students are bored, they simply cannot um, work. It's the same when we get into you know, the frazzled state where the, where the challenge is much too high um, and the student is then stressed, it's too difficult, the amygdala will switch again. But there's this kind of hot spot um, in the middle where the challenge is just right. Um, and that's the place where you want your students to be learning to maximize their, their learning potential. Um, and I think a lot of the time when we, we certainly, um, if you do any teacher training and you watch um, classes of teachers, I think if you look around at the students, a lot of the time, um, the problem is that the, the students are not being individually challenged, they're not working at that hotspot.